July 19th, 1977, the world teacher, the Christ Maitreya, head of the spiritual hierarchy, emerged from his ancient retreat and is now in the modern world. With his disciples, the masters of the wisdom, he will inaugurate the new age of synthesis and brotherhood. Good morning and welcome to our World Teacher Programme on Wellington's Access Radio, 783am. Presented by Teresa and David on behalf of Share International New Zealand. In our programme today, which we originally aired in July 2010, we'll be taking a look at Benjamin Krem's books through previews sourced both from the Share International website and through the following article by Diana Holland, the freelance journalist from Canada. Her article appeared in the magazine Evolve in early 2005. She writes... You could not curl up for an evening with any books more fascinating than those of British author Benjamin Krem. The Great Approach, for example, his ninth book, describes the entrance into today's world of great spiritual beings known as the Masters of Wisdom. Krem explains they are the custodians of a great plan for the planet, our elder brothers and mentors, and, with their assistance, we are entering a 2,000-year period of unprecedented progress. The chaos and turmoil now occurring are the birth pangs of a new and brilliant civilization. The Great Approach describes in simple yet profound terms the implications of this great event, not only for humanity, but also for these great beings themselves, returning as they do openly for the first time in 98,000 years. What else but such momentous topics could you expect from the man who, for over 30 years, has spent his life as an ambassador of sorts, preparing the public and the media for what is arguably the biggest event in 2,000 years, the return of Maitreya, the Christ and world teacher, the one awaited under various names by many religious traditions, who stands at the head of these illumined spiritual teachers. This was the subject of his first book, The Reappearance of the Christ and the Masters of Wisdom, published in 1979. You might well ask on what authority Krem makes these assertions, and his reply is disarmingly candid. He quips, all joking aside, when a voice suddenly speaks to you in your head, clear as a bell, you listen or at least I did, adding that he was neither looking for nor anticipating a telepathic contact as he stepped out of the bath one January night in 1959. But a voice spoke unmistakably inside his head, that of a spiritual master living in the Himalayas, he was told, and thus began their association. After some weeks of training in telepathic contact, Krem was addressed by the master of all the masters, Maitreya, the world teacher, who said, I myself am coming in about 20 years, and you may play a role in my coming if you so choose. Krem inwardly agreed, and the subject was dropped altogether for many years. His training continued under his master's guidance until the early 1970s, when it was stepped up to the arduous pitch of 20 hours a day, and their telepathic link grew constant and two-sided. Krem claims that this relationship has given him access to constant up-to-date information on the progress of Maitreya's emergence and the total conviction necessary to present that information to a sceptical world. So, if Krem truly does have an inside track on the destiny of the world, maybe his books merit closer attention. You won't find here any New Age psychobabble, nor are these the ravings of a zealot, a fame junkie, or a literary con artist. Krem's trilogy, entitled Maitreya's Mission, Volumes 1, 2, and 3, is a third de force explaining the world teacher's reasons for being here, 
his priorities and some of his spiritual views and teachings. The topics are so vast and so practical that the pages just fly by. And what is Maitreya's central message? It can be summed up in one basic sentence, share and save the world. Krem's tenth book, The Art of Cooperation, goes into greater detail on how the world can accomplish the required sharing. He emphasises that cooperation among people and nations is not optional if we choose to survive. It is the very foundation upon which a brilliant new civilization can be built. Possible insider knowledge of divine plans notwithstanding, is there any more objective reason why Krem's pronouncements should be heeded? For one thing, he has a long-standing and honourable track record when it comes to other forecasts and predictions. Krem is the editor of Share International, a monthly magazine that in the late 80s to early 90s released a series of forecasts stemming from Maitreya. These included the reunification of the two Germanys, the release of Nelson Mandela, the poll tax riots in Britain, and the political demise of Margaret Thatcher. The odds of many of the predictions coming true were considered slim to none by the media at the time, and yet, one by one, the events have come to pass. Krem affirms it is the energies of the Christ pouring out daily throughout the planet which stand behind the apparently sudden changes of the day, from the fall of the Berlin Wall to the massive disclosures of scandals in the West. Track record aside, there is also the unique presence of Krem the person. What kinds of credentials befit a modern day prophet? You definitely buy a used car from this man, has quipped more than one journalist about Ben the Baptist. With his snow-white hair, calm voice and crackling wit, the man somehow reminds you of a favourite uncle. This, he is the first to point out, is no reason to believe his story, and you are free to dismiss it, he says, if it does not have for you the ring of truth. Krem says, we tend to get caught up in the events of the day, ever reacting to the media portrayal of a catastrophe complex, built of murder, rape, war and pillage. The masters of wisdom, on the other hand, understand the true significance of the times. From behind the scenes, Maitreya has been dispensing potent cosmic energies that are transforming our world. The changes in Eastern Europe, the former Soviet Union, China, South Africa, the Middle East, a raft of miraculous phenomena worldwide, and the rising demand of the people for justice, freedom and participation have all occurred under his stimulus. Krem's special connection gives him a unique perspective, even on mundane matters like the weather. His books maintain that the unusual climatic conditions of recent years, hurricanes, floods, earthquakes, are the result of the wrong thoughts and actions of humanity. He says, as we create conditions of chaos and disequilibrium in our planetary life, so we affect the natural world under the law of cause and effect, or karma. All atoms in creation are interconnected, so when an atomic device is detonated, inevitably, some few days later, comes news of an earthquake or some other seismic disturbance elsewhere. Continuing a gruelling schedule of speaking engagements on three continents, Krem speaks by invitation and receives no royalties or compensation for his talks. He has given hundreds of radio interviews in the US and Canada alone. When I began speaking to audiences in 1975, I wasn't aware that my trayers coming before the public would take this long, the Scottish-born artist smiles. I thought I'd be back in my studio in no time. But I did inwardly pledge myself to this work in 1959, when I was first invited to play a role in the reappearance of the Christ and my experience has simply unfolded since then. I know it all sounds fantastic, but I also know that I am not crazy, and that all of this is true. That ends the article by Diana Holland. If you visit the website share-international.org, 
you will find a good introduction to each of Benjamin Krem's books. We're going to read extracts from these previews after listening to an extract from Maitreya's message number 8, from Krem's second book, Messages from Maitreya the Christ. Here's a brief explanation from the website. During the years of preparation for his emergence, Maitreya gave 140 messages through Benjamin Krem during public lectures. The method used was mental overshadowing or spiritual telepathy, which is not related to mediumship or channeling. Through these communications, Maitreya suggests the lines that social change must take and evokes the desire to share and serve humanity. He also gives hints on how to recognise him and urges people to make known the fact of his presence. It is almost impossible to say these messages aloud or listen to them with attention without invoking Maitreya's energy, his heart response and blessing. My mission is but beginning, yet already there are the signs of response, of recognition that my advent is nigh. Many there are now throughout the world who feel my presence, who stand open and ready for my teaching. When I make myself known, I shall express the hope of all mankind for a new life, a new start, a readiness to change direction. to see the construction of a new world in which men can live in peace, can live free from fear of themselves or their brothers, free to create from the joy in their hearts, free to be themselves in simple honesty. You're listening to the World Teacher Programme on Wellington's Access Radio, 783 AM. We'll continue now with the Share International website reviews of Benjamin Krem's books. The reappearance of The Christ and the Masters of Wisdom was Krem's first book, published in 1979. In it, he made the startling announcement that the Christ as world teacher for the coming age is already among us, gradually emerging into full public recognition. And further, that this great spiritual presence known as Maitreya is the same one expected by many religions, 
albeit under different names. Along with a group of highly evolved spiritual men known as the Masters of Wisdom, who have long inspired humanity from behind the scenes, Maitreya is here to promote cooperation among the many ideological factions, galvanize world goodwill and sharing, and inspire sweeping political, social, economic and environmental reforms. They are among us now as universal teachers and guides for people of all spiritual traditions and those of none. Krem puts forward the most profound event of the last 2000 years into its correct historical and esoteric context and describes what effect the world teacher's presence will have on both the world's institutions and the average person. Through his telepathic contact with a master of wisdom, Krem answers a myriad of questions well beyond the scope of his personal knowledge. New insights are offered on such subjects as the soul and reincarnation, telepathy, nuclear energy, ancient civilizations, problems of the developing world, and a new economic order and he clarifies misunderstandings about the Antichrist and the Last Judgment. Benjamin Krem's third book is entitled Transmission and Meditation for the New Age. Transmission Meditation is a group service activity which steps down the great spiritual energies that continually stream into our planet, focused by the Masters of Wisdom, our Elder Brothers. This process, which makes the energies more useful to humanity, is like that of electrical transformers that step down the power between generators and household outlets. These transformed spiritual energies, Krem explains, are gradually uplifting all life forms and changing our world for the better. What is unique about this work, says Krem, is its simplicity. It is a perfect vehicle for the aspirations of very busy people. It is safe, highly scientific, non-denominational, free of any charge and unbelievably potent. It is a service in which we can involve ourselves for the rest of our lives and know that we are helping in the great transformation to a more just and compassionate world. At the same time I know of no other form of service which makes for such far-reaching and fast spiritual growth. The preface includes Krem's extraordinary account of his 40-year collaboration with a Master of Wisdom and how it led to his primary work of preparing the way for Maitreya, world teacher for the coming age. His fourth book, A Master Speaks, is a compilation of 223 articles given by Krem's master between 1982 and 2003. The articles contain a wealth of inspiration, wisdom and practical information relevant to a world in turmoil. Titles include Health and Healing, Life in the New Age, Human Rights, Sharing for Peace, The Problem of AIDS, The New Education and so on. And then we come to the trilogy, Maitreya's Mission, Volumes 1, 2 and 3. Volume 1 includes much information on the story of Maitreya's emergence and on such subjects as the work and teachings of the Christ, changes in the world and their causes, life ahead in the new age, evolution and initiation, meditation and service, healing and social transformation, externalization of the masters and an explanation of the seven rays. Volume 2 updates the process of Maitreya's public emergence and also explains such phenomena as crop circles, crosses of light, visions of the Madonna, healing wells and UFOs. Volume 3, a chronicle of the next millennium and beyond, completes the trilogy about Maitreya's mission. The following review of Volume 3 is taken from the Share International website. Visualise if you can a world of peace with cities restored to great beauty, where the necessities of life are guaranteed to all people. Imagine a civilization where the science of light will bring new modes of travel and architecture, new sources of energy, a restored, healthy environment, 
and advanced medical marvels. Take a peek at education in the future, how we will use increased leisure time and a renaissance of art and creativity greater than the world has ever known. It may sound like science fiction, but it presents, in interviews with a master of wisdom, Maitreya's priorities in the coming time and some of the challenges of the 21st century through which he will guide us. As in the previous two volumes, there is invaluable wisdom concerning a vast range of topics, some familiar to us from the first books, but now expanded upon, and others totally new subjects, such as the proper understanding of time, the elimination of the fear of death, service and the soul, and what's behind the proliferation of miracles throughout the world. The Great Approach was published in 2001, and in a most original and convincing way, it moves from idealism and expressed goodwill to the practical means of bringing the new structures into being. An extraordinary synthesis of knowledge, it throws a searchlight on the future. With clear vision it predicts our highest achievements of thought to reveal the amazing scientific discoveries which lie ahead. It shows us a world in which war is a thing of the past and the needs of all are met. It is indeed a message of hope for the world. The Art of Cooperation examines the root cause of our world crisis the glamour or psychological fog that hides the reality of our oneness and produces pain and suffering at all levels. Overcoming glamour is, therefore, seen as the key to realising unity, the true relationship of all life in the universe. Cooperation, rather than competition, follows naturally from the recognition of unity and is the only foundation for a just and peaceful world. This book is an invaluable guide for group work. In 2005, Krem's tenth book, Maitreya's Teachings, The Laws of Life, was published. The preview on the Share International webpage says that we do not have even fragments of the teachings of former world teachers given prior to certain knowledge of their existence. We do not have the teachings of a Christ or a Buddha or a Krishna except seen through the eyes of later followers. For the first time we are given the flavour of the thoughts and insights of a being of immeasurable stature to enable us to understand the path of evolution stretching ahead of us which he has come to outline for us. The impression left in the mind by the teacher is that the breadth and depth of his knowledge and awareness have no limits that he is tolerant and wise beyond conception and of amazing humility. Few could read from these pages without being changed. To some, the extraordinary insights into world events will be of major interest, while to others, the laying bare of the secrets of self-realization, the simple description of experienced truth will be a revelation. To anyone seeking to understand the laws of life, these insights will take them quickly to the core of life itself and provide them with a simple path stretching to the mountain top. The essential unity of all life is underscored in a clear and meaningful way. Never, it would appear, have the laws by which we live seemed so natural and so unconstraining. The Art of Living, published in June 2006 and in common with the two previous books, the Great Approach and the Art of Cooperation, is conceived as three separate but interconnected parts. Each part concludes with a range of questions and answers arising from the theme of the talk. In part one, Benjamin Krem considers the experience of living as a form of art, like painting or music. To reach a high level of expression requires both knowledge of and adherence to certain fundamental principles. In the art of life, it is through the understanding of the great law of cause and effect and the related law of rebirth that we achieve the poised harmlessness that leads to personal happiness, right human relations and the correct path for all humanity on its evolutionary journey. Parts 2 and 3, The Pairs of Opposites and Illusion, 
propose that it is man's unique position in the evolutionary scheme, the meeting point of spirit and matter, that produces his seemingly endless struggle, both within himself and in outer living. The means by which he emerges from the fog of illusion and blends these two aspects of himself into one perfect whole is living life itself with growing detachment and objective self-awareness. In June 2007, The World Teacher for All Humanity was published, and in June 2008, its companion book, The Awakening of Humanity, was published. At 132 pages and 141 pages respectively, they are an updated overview of the background of Maitreya's emergence and are two of four books which can be read free of charge online at the SHARE International website. And finally, released in July 2010 and entitled The Gathering of the Forces of Light, UFOs and Their Spiritual Mission, this book contains talks by Benjamin Krem, articles by Benjamin Krem's master, and questions and answers, and is in two parts. The first part, UFOs and Their Spiritual Mission, deals with the work of our Space Brothers on behalf of humanity. The second, Education in the New Age, looks at the changes in education that will be necessary in the coming time, as we adopt new technologies introduced by the Space Brothers, and become increasingly aware of the hitherto hidden forces that underlie our lives. And that ends our programme today. Our next one will be on Saturday the 17th of June at the usual time of 10am. For more information phone us on 063646101. We stock all of Benjamin Krem's books so if you'd like a price list please send your request to PO Box 9576 Wellington or phone 04234 you have been listening to Teresa and David on behalf of Share International New Zealand. You can listen again to this programme or previous ones online at accessradio.org.nz. Click on programmes and scroll down to the World Teacher link.